Tonight, people across the country are remembering Native American activist Clyde Bellacourt. He co-founded the American Indian Movement in 1968 to help advocate for tribal sovereignty and other civil rights. As Aaron Hassanzada shares, his life's passion and work extended well beyond his home state of Minnesota. A ceremonial fire burns as people grapple with the loss of a civil rights legend. We have a fire, a, a fire for his spirit. To Lisa Bellinger, Clyde Bellacourt was uncle, a man known worldwide, but like family to so many. I hear him called uncle all over the world. You know, I really wouldn't be who I am without him. Lisa is now the executive director of the American Indian Movement that Bellacord founded more than 50 years ago. And AIM created an awakening, you know, on a national level of our people. He started so many organizations in Minneapolis. Almost everyone has, he had something to do with. Bellacourt's early days were spent patrolling neighborhoods, trying to stop police brutality. Eventually, he co-chaired the Police Community Relations Council. From education and job training to medical care and legal advice, Bellacourt traveled near and far, pushing for change and equity. It was never just a job for him. It was a way of life. Wherever there was anything worth doing, he was there. One of his latest pushes was to rid sports teams of racist mascots, something Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan highlighted in her statement to us about him. Indian country benefited from Clyde Bellacourt's activism, she said. He cleared a path for so many of us. At the end of the day, it's about his grandkids, you know, and ensuring that their kids and their grandkids will have equity. Bellacourt told Lisa to carry on this message. Stay at the table. You got to keep working. You can't give up. We can't just be a silent voice. We have to be out there. In Minneapolis, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Bellacourt not only met with American politicians, but also with world leaders, and he spoke at the United Nations. Lisa tells us he died at home with family after a long cancer battle.